Rudy Sendi, Card Ranger here. I thought I'd share something a little different today that I started collecting a while back, and that is uh, baseball comic books. I have a couple of different uh, types of comics that I've been collecting. The first one that I'm showing is actually a, it's it's by Magnum Comics. It's the only one I have by Magnum. They had only a really short run. Um, there's this one, which is the Series One of Mantle. It's from 1991, so these aren't old comics. They're, you know, they're not expensive. They're to me, they're just fun to collect. So this is from 1991, uh, released in December. There's a second version of this, the second issue of Mantle, and then I, there's only two more in this series: the Brooks Robinson and the Duke Snyder. So this is a really cool comic. I'll open it up real quick just so you can see the inside of this one in particular. Um, it's really nice. It's a story basically of, of Mickey Mantle, you know, from when he was a kid to his playing days. It's pretty neat. Starts out and then basically goes to him as a kid. So it's a really neat comic, fun, fun to read for sports fans, you know. Um, so that's the Mickey Mantle from 1991 by Magnum Comics. Now the rest of these that I have are by a company called Revolutionary Comics. So this is the Baseball Legends series. So this has 19 total in this series. Um, Revolutionary Comics is actually pretty interesting if you look them up. They started with a very popular comic book of based on rock and roll. So they have kind of, of rock and roll theme, themed comics. The one that kicked them off was in 86, was Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> so uh, pretty cool. And... Um, then they got into sports, and really, these were they were unauthorized. You can see actually up here, their motto is unauthorized and proud of it. So when they first launched these, um, especially in the rock and roll, you know, there were some lawsuits, but basically, you know, from they're they're allowed to print, you know, these biographies of these players and comic books, and and they went on to do sports. And um, these are the baseball legends series. So this is the Mickey Mantle. We have. Jackie Robinson, of course. Here is the Sandy Koufax. And then there is a another series that they do. And there's plenty in that Baseball Legends series. Um, like I said, there's 19. There's also a Sports Legends series. So this one is from all different sports. So, you know, there's baseball. So this is the Sports Legends Satchel Paige, Hank Aaron, Jackie Robinson on the cover, uh, the pioneering black athletes in America. But in the Sports Legends series, there's you know, Joe Lewis and Gordie Howe and Will Chamberlain and Walt Pay Walter Payton, so from all different sports. I think even like Arthur Ashe, things like that. So it's a pretty interesting series, the Sports Legends series. This is the only non-baseball one I have. And this is an, also the Sports Legends series, and that's Gordie Howe. Pretty cool. A lot, a lot of fun, a lot of fun to collect and read through. And this is this starts this baseball superstars series. This is the one I have the most from, and this is the one I'm kind of collecting first, as long as well as the baseball legends. So the baseball superstars series has 20 in the set. Um, these started in 1991, the end of 1991, so around November. This one came out. Yep, November of 1991, and. Um, this was their first one. Nolan Ryan was the first one they released in 1991. And as you'll see, I have my f two of these Bo Jacksons. And this one is actually signed by both the artist and the writer. So a lot of fun there. So Herb Shapiro was the writer for Revolutionary Comics at the time. And the artist for this is actually Greg Fox, who's still around and uh, he's pretty young. He, was, uh, he has his own series and all kinds of different comic books that he does. So I have that signed one, and then, you know, this one, which is not signed by the author as well. They're the writer and the artist. And this is, of course, Ken Griffey Jr. I have to have Ken Griffey Jr., right? Now, these are not uh, color comics, but they are factual. So, you know, this whole line goes through, and it's just a factual comic, cool comic book, of you know their their stories their factual stories um of the players from when they started as kids through their careers so i'll open up this p 
Pete Rose, just show you what show you what they're like inside. Um, you know, these are black and white. Uh, these revolutionary comics. So, but you can see it starts. You know, when he's a kid, goes through his career, all the way through his draft and all all kinds of cool information about Pete Rose. Um, you can read through and a lot of fun. So they're really fun to collect. At least, at least I enjoy them. <laughs> So this is the Ricky Henderson. And then we have Jose Canseco. And pretty cool, Cal Ripken. So the artwork is really, really nice. Other, you know, others it's, you know, the artist did change, so they do look a little different, but I really enjoy these. They're fun to read through as well. Carlton Fisk. And then last one I have, I have about half of them, is Roger Clemens. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of great players in here. I, the next ones I want to get from this series, you know, in the baseball superstars, I have George Brett and Strawberry and Puckett and Winfield and McGuire. So just fun to collect, and I'm really enjoying it. I thought I'd share that with you, and... Maybe you haven't seen them before. I mean, maybe you'd want to collect a few yourself of your favorite players. The other thing here that I just showed is uh, two of my favorite baseballs. I have uh, this one was given to me by my wife on one of my wedding day presents. So how cool is that? <laughs> so that's my Don Mattingly signed baseball. And this my wife also gave me after our son Cooper was born. And it has all of Cooper's information on the baseball there about my son Cooper. So... Anyway, thought I'd just share that. Hope everyone's doing well. I know, uh, you know, people are inside. It's, um, I don't want to say it's rough because it could be worse. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm hoping everyone's doing well and just staying healthy. And I, I appreciate all the videos people are posting. It's wonderful to see these videos as we kind of wait at home and see how things go and keep everyone safe in our family. So have a great day, everyone. Thanks again for watching.